Hello, everybody. I hope you're all doing well. This is going to be your daily hope for Tuesday, I guess. So that's going to be, what day would that be? The 17th of March. So let's see what's going on. Let's see what daily hope can be inspired this time, shall we? All right. Let me move my chair a little bit over. Yep. There we go. Daily hope, please, for March 17th. This one. Oh, look at that. Hawk Messenger. Spirit is sending you messages. Open your greater vision to see the signs. Focus on priorities. Eliminate distractions. You have a bright future. Let yourself ascend to new heights. Gentleness. Strength is gentle. True kindness has wings. Love in action endures. Someone I'm getting might not feel like their love is being returned in the way they want it to be. Or something and they're just kind of taking it. They're not speaking their peace about it. Or don't know if you can speak it lovingly enough. Quest. Be bold. And mighty forces will aid you. Take action. Good luck favors the brave. Look at that. Good luck favors the brave. You must speak your peace with confidence. Vitality. What I mean by vitality is in order to speak your truth with confidence and not in fear, vitality has got to be your primary focus. Vitality. There's so many things that make up vitality, which is one of them is gentleness. One of them is confidence. One of them is understanding inner strength. And understanding that you've got to be thankful, even in the pain of things, for the fear you feel. Because before you can get to courage and step past that line of fear, you've got to have fear in the first place. So when you feel afraid, or even when you feel like you've given up on things, a lot of times the reason we give up is because we don't know how to overcome that fear. It's, uh, there's... Maybe you've tried and you've tried and you've tried and you just feel like it's absolutely hopeless. Illumination. You're going to be illuminated about that hopelessness or whichever it is. And look at that. I've never gotten this card out. Purity. Absolutely gorgeous card. Look at that. Come with things at purity, with purity and with illumination. I think in coming at things with a pure heart and illuminate, uh, you will be illuminated to what actually is the truth of the situation. There's fear of loss here, but I think I think the divine's trying to head somebody in a new direction or a few new directions, cutting out the crap. You're getting divine messages about this, nonetheless, about how to be gentle using love in action endures and endures and to be bold and mighty forces will aid you take action good luck favors the brave nope oh, there we go awesome we got our first daily hope message out here to go all right let's look at this card hawk messenger this is a lot of people spirit animal let me just say spirit is sending you messages open your greater vision to see the signs focus on priorities and eliminate distractions you have a bright future let yourself ascend to new heights all right we have gentleness strength is gentle true kindness has wings love in action endures so how can you be an angel with hands how can you be strong and yet gentle at the same time that's that's interesting right Strength is gentle. Strength is not forceful. True strength is in knowing who you are, knowing what you need, and being able to speak your truth through love. Because love in action endures through that whole situation. And somebody here is on a quest, opening your crown chakra so that illumination can come in here. Such beautiful cards. We're going to read these in a little bit. Be bold and mighty forces will aid you. Take action. Good luck favors the brave. The wildest dragon is within you. Some I just saw the power card and this reminds me of that power card. The wildest dragon is within you. 
summon your courage and strength. I don't know what the whole card says, but which is interesting because I've pulled it, pulled it thousands of times. It must be by now. Beautiful colors, color of my nails. Bling it up a little bit, people. Enjoy the quest. You know, the quest doesn't have to be all, you know, hard work and whichever. I mean, be bold and mighty forces will aid you. Take action. Good luck favors the brave. So perhaps in the truth someone needs to speak. There is going to be a sunny side to that truth and the quest that you're on to learn how to speak that truth for yourself. All right, let's read Purity. Purity. I've never pulled this card before. It's so beautiful. Look at that. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm going to uh, start this over. The first snow, purity. Before the first snow, the earth is dark and cold. Fallen trees from autumn storms lay haphazard. Lee atop the decaying leaves that cover the forest floor. However, when the first snow arrives, the darkness and decomposing soil are replaced by a purity that is light and bright. In the shining, or in the sunshine, hmm, something has to do with the shining here. I know that's like a creepy movie. And I've never seen it, but interesting. I don't know if you've all seen that movie. You'll have to let me know if this is something about purity in that movie. Um, this In the sunshine, the individual snowflakes atop the snowdrifts sparkle with crystalline light. Harsh sound are muffled, sharp corners and rugged edges are muted. Everything feels fresh and new. Debris seemingly disappears beneath the pristine white landscape. Softly falling snow illuminates the environment in a diffusion of swirling forms. At night, in the light of the full moon, the first snow is glowing and serenely silent, turning everything into an enchanted fairy tale realm. In some mystical traditions, descending snow symbolizes the transform transmission of knowledge from a higher plane, the heavens, to the lower planes, the earth, thus bringing purity to the earth. The sacred landscape wants you to know, no matter what has happened in the past, everything can be fresh and new again. The purity of your soul is shining through everything that you encounter. You are entering into a period of grace. Simply open your heart and know that the best is yet to, to be. The past does not need to equal the future. Your future can be and will be shimmering, sparkling, and bright. Old limiting patterns are dropping away. Recurring, recurring challenges are releasing. This is a time of redemption, forgiveness, and holy healing. So there's something that's truly coming in to purify a situation, bring healing to a situation. I sure hope that's true for my world. Because, man, that would be beautiful. I mean, it's always beautiful. But that would be awesome in a certain situation I'm thinking of. All right, now let's see what this illumination is about, shall we? I mean, if we're heading into purity, it makes sense that illumination would be there. That's for sure. Look at that. More beautiful colors. Very divine feminine colors here today. Very much so. Just let me turn the page. All right. Mist rising on the alpine lake. As the sun rises over the far mountains, mists begin to swirl upward, illuminating, illuminated by the golden, radiant rays of morning light. In many traditions, mist symbolizes what is called the mystic veil, which represents an entrance point into unseen realms. In ancient and native cultures, mists are associated with mystical and magical inner dimensions. Mist in the mountains represents higher states of consciousness. The sacred landscape wants you to know the upward spiraling mists rising in the mountains suggests that those in the realm of spirit, your spirit protectors, ancestors, and guardians are close at hand, assisting you on your upward journey of illumination. They are protecting you and supporting you. Your spiritual life is expanding by leaps and bounds. Even if you can't see what's ahead, spirit is close at hand. If you draw this card, trust your heart and what you feel more than you what you see and what you think and you will be guided in a wondrous direction. So what is it you're feeling? 
what is it you're feeling? Because it's more about what you're feeling than what you know and what you think right now. Being illuminated into everything being pure. A new start. Someone's coming up to a new start here, a new belief, a new something in illumination. All right. Dear you, sometimes you just feel like no one understands you, you're not heard, or even that you don't count. This, my dear, is a terrible illusion, and although your feelings tell you that abandonment is real, well, we who love you know better. You are never alone, and even when rejection happens, you are ultimately being protected so better things can replace what wouldn't have worked in the first place. Everyone on this side of the veil is watching over you and rooting for your ultimate success. Life loves you, we love you, and you are a unique spark of the divine and always connected to the light and to source. You are always in our care. Trust and keep the faith. Love you always and forever. Look at that. Protection, love, caring. Like, you are not alone here, my friends. Let's look at some different things here. Spirit is sending you message. Open to the greater vision to see the signs. Focus on priorities and illuminate distraction and distractions. Eliminate, sorry. You have, oh, maybe someone is being illuminated to the fact that their distractions are actually taking them away from the bright future, or you're using these distractions to not focus on your priorities. You have a bright future. Let yourself ascend to new heights. You have the ability to do that. Yes, you do. Feeling upside down about this message that's about to come to you right now. I surrender to a power greater than me. This is all about trust. Surrendering to the powers that are greater than you and how it is you want to bring that forward into your life. So when we surrender, we give up control we feel. But in surrendering is when you actually gain the most control. So... How is that possible? That's like saying I'm reaching for something, but if I'm, I reach for it, well, like how do I reach for something and totally surrender? Well, how much time have you spent reaching for something? How much time have you spent reaching and hoping? So I believe that when you surrender your will, or surrender what it is you want to a power greater than you and let them move on your behalf, that's when the trueness of what is supposed to happen will come forward to you. The moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. So what direction are you looking for? Are you looking for direction in how to be gentle, that love in action endures, how to be strong, but yet be gentle at the same time? True kindness has wings. So what are the wings we're looking for here? I'm telling you, if you're feeling a certain way, it's absolutely for a reason, okay? Now here's another message someone's going to feel upside down about. When I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. So if you understand that the divine is here guiding you on your quest... I changed my mind about the world I see. You'll start to see the world in a completely different way. And look how the colors go beautifully with that. Be bold and mighty forces will aid you. Take action. Speak your truth. Reach for what you want to reach for. But then release the outcome. Release the attachment to the outcome and let spirit bring it to you and how they decide is best for you to have it. I surrender to a power greater than me. Take action. Good luck favors the brave. But first, we must align with love. And we must speak our truth in a gentle, kind, and caring way. Isn't that interesting? It's almost like you're of two minds about how to move forward with something. Because we have, like, two energies here that are, like, almost completely opposite to a certain extent. I surrender to a power greater than me. So surrender to what the divine has. The moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. Direction in how to be loving and understanding that being strong is being loving as well. Just because you're strong and strength is gentle doesn't mean you have to be forceful. Just speak your heart. Speak from a place of absolute purity. And you will have illumination on any situation that you're dealing with at any given time. 
purity. Let's see what purities more information we can get on this card. It's so beautiful. Look at that. The eye there and the eye there, they match very much. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love that card. How beautiful. Purity. I love it. Look at that. The cards keep falling out. It's like you're getting messages from the divine. You're getting messages about how to move forward and what to do, but every time you get a message, it like totally messes up what you thought was the trajectory you were on or what you thought was your truth. And I think it's confusing some people. Uh, it's it's like discombobulating your energy because in, in speaking your truth, this is all, these stones here are all about opening your heart chakra and our throat chakra. And isn't it amazing how they all look beautiful together? They all go inside and, you know, it's absolutely beautiful. I love these stones. Anyway. I don't remember what they're called, but they're awesome. So someone's energy is discombobulated because you're trying to move forward in a certain way. But at the same time, the messages from spirit that you're getting are opposite from what you feel is the truth. Now, I think part of the issue here with the oppositeness to what you feel is the truth is that surrendering, like I said before, is not taking action. When I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. How is that taking action? Be bold, mighty forces will aid you. How is that taking action when I surrender? How is strength gentle? I mean, how do I do that? I, I mean, I get it, but how is surrendering have anything to do with this here message? So there's a, a miscommunication and a break in energetic alignment and understanding from the messages spirit's giving you to the messages you think how you need to move forward with. It's like there's, it's, there's two um, energies to move forward with. But you see, uh, people think that the surrender word means giving up. But in actuality, the power greater than you can do far more than you yourself can do. So, you know, a spirit is sending you messages. Open your greater vision to see the signs. Focus on priorities and eliminate distractions. You have a bright future. Let yourself ascend to new heights. But in doing so, there's some sort of surrender that's got to be put out here. Perhaps surrendering to the distractions that are in your life whether it's relationship, whether it's, I mean, whatever it is. So this card here with purity, we get the moment I embrace my peace within and surrender the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. So it's about getting out of your own way. It's about understanding that it's time to, for transformation. It's time for for the snow to come and purify everything. It's time for the divine. Understand that what goes out of your life is absolutely a purification process. Okay. And you might feel like you're in a dark night of the soul. Like it's winter time and you can't see the forest through the trees. And with all the snow on it and crap. And it just like you might even feel like everything's dead and dying in your life. It's so that it can be purified. And the crap that's not supposed to be there can be done away with. I'm going to put that under there because I just love looking at that card. It's so beautiful. All right. Next one. Illumination. I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer. Thank you universe for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. So how does your fear teach you? How does your fear show you? If you understand that fear is the first call to action because as soon as you feel fear you are called to have courage over that fear and to step past any fear and head into courage which absolutely is illumination it's like the mists rising up the mountain in understanding standing spiraling upwards as the as everything starts to become clear underneath a veiled fog that you feel you've been living in i would have to say in i witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer thank you universe for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. So how is love trying to guide you forward? How can you be loving? How can you be illuminated in love? 
How can you do that? No one understands you, huh? No one, you know, understands. And you, you've got to understand that life loves you, that spirit loves you, and you're a unique spark of the divine. Okay? And always connected to the light and to source. You are always in their care. In every moment, the universe is conspiring to bring me toward right-minded thinking and the energy of love. So every moment this is going on, right-minded thinking, there is definitely a perception change here that needs to happen. Definitely. And I do see that happening. But that's what Spirit's trying to work on here and getting you to, to feel and to see a new way forward. But it's in perception and understanding about how it is you need to be moving forward. So I find a deep meaning and personal growth amid the discomfort. Someone's being pressure cooker, no word of a lie. Oneness is my true nature. How I lead forward and what I move forward with is absolutely my true nature to be at one with the divine because they love you and they have totally got you. They've totally got your back. You are supported in ways you can't even possibly know. I hope this message resonates for you guys. I love you very much and I'll be talking to you again soon. Blessings.